my book is called Controversial Poetry, ADHD, A True Sickness. And it's about my struggles growing up with ADHD and being a child and not understanding what I was feeling and why I was feeling what I was feeling. Uh, I started writing mostly in junior high because by then I learned more about like the English language, what I felt able to express myself through words. So I was able to go back and kind of write like how I felt as a child and recalling what I felt, what I went through, being bullied, being picked on, having teachers not understand me, just feeling so frustrated. So I was able to, for some reason, just the flow of words would come to me and I'd have like a rhythm or I like a very OCD, so I like to have it rhyme and I was just able to junior high, high school, put it all together and then write about my experiences in junior high and relationships and boys and carry that on through high school and on through adult life and still doing that today. Yes, writing was a very good outlet. I was able to let it all out instead of having it stay inside you and fester and just keep being upset. Like writing, I was able to put down all my words on a on a sheet of paper and just let it all out. Uh, you definitely need an outlet, whether you have like bipolar or schizophrenia or anxiety, you need to have an outlet. Like whether that's singing or dancing or writing or sports, you need to let it out. Yeah, so writing was a very good outlet for me. Um, I want the readers to understand that even if you're different, even if you've autism, even if you're bipolar, have anxiety issues, you can still accomplish things in life. You can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can be a singer, you can do these things. Like don't let it bring you down, don't let it run your life. Even if it ran your life as a child or runs your life as a teenager, like you can own it, you can you can become a very successful person. It's kind of intimidating because the book is very personal. The words, um, the poems are a very easy read. I wanted people to understand the story. So it goes right into my feelings, it goes right into my emotions. And the book is very personally revealing. So I want people to know that they might feel that too and it's okay. They might have gone through it a poem here or a poem there or a story here and it's okay so they're not alone. Uh, my friend Kyle Hutchinson did the pictures and he had schizophrenia and before the sickness really took over one of his dreams in life was to have like a big artwork studio and to share his artwork with the world. Um, about 1819 the schizophrenia really took over and then he ended up committing suicide so he never did accomplish that dream. So I wanted to attribute to Kyle, so I had to call his mom and get permission to use Kyle's artwork. Right. And I wanted that in the book, because I wanted it to be an easy read. I want people that don't read books to be able to flip through 10 pages and feel accomplished. Yeah, I'm on page 10 already. And I wanted the book to be different. Uh, at first I thought that ADHD was a curse. I hated having it. I hated the fact that it was ADHD. I just wanted it to be normal. And then the writing was a gift to let it out to express it my past emotions, my past experiences, I wanted to share them, but at the same time I wanted to close the door on it. Yes, I felt this, yes, I went through this, but now I'm going in a different direction. I'm accomplishing things so I can bury the hatchet and move forward and become goal-oriented and not let it hold me anymore. I, I can let it go. Yes, yeah, so you are not your condition. You yeah, are person. I don't want it to own me, right. to label me. I don't want to hover that label. Yeah. And I'm here with Ogre Publishing at the Book Expo in New York, 2018.